Okay, right. So what I want to do in this video, which is pretty short, is take you to um oops, sorry, keep is take you to how we actually deal with this. So the the principle, the um the the standard requests us or the way it looks at it says, okay, listen, if you want to work out what the deferred tax liability is or what how much tax a business is, will uh, an organization is, is it, will will still pay um, in the future as a result of this capital allowance issue, is you, you need to compare what's referred to as the carrying amount at the end of the period. And I'll use this example here. You had this 600,000, sorry, 600 pound asset and at the end of the first year the carrying amount was 600 of course minus 200 right because it's 200 each year so the carrying amount is like the book amount and that was 400 um and the um tax base now the tax base if you like is the is like the tax written the tax written down value so think of us depreciating using the tax uh, capital allowances so for example you had a, a starting point of 600 and then you issued you allowed um 600 you put through 600 so the tax base in this case is zero when we come to do the question actual question it, it doesn't have to be you don't have to give 100 percent capital allowances you can give other capital allowances but the way we do it is we say compare the carrying amount to the tax base and if you look at this what you have here is you say, well, what's the difference between the carrying amount and the tax base? And that's how you do this. So I'm just answering an exam question for you. Whenever you get to an exam question, all you do is literally compare the carrying amount with the tax base. The carrying amount is the opening carrying amount of the asset minus the normal depreciation. Take the tax base, which is the normal carrying amount, starting amount minus any allowances given so far. Find the difference, 400, and multiply by the multiplied by the tax rate at the time and here you have 120 so whenever the carrying amount whenever the carrying amount is greater than the tax base we will have a deferred tax liability and i've proven it in the next in the previous video that here you had a carrying amount um, which was really saying that you still have potential income of 400 in the future to come if you like um if you think you can think about that way um or you, yeah, or you have used up all of this expenses hit you right now, and so you have enjoyed that expense now because you were able to put through a large capital expense. You can look at it that way as well. But the point is that when you have the carrying amount greater than tax base, we have what's the deferred tax liability. So we recognize that um, we do debit tax expense 120 and credit the um, deferred tax liability. Um, 120. We do this at the end of every period. So at the end of the next period, at the end of year two, we do the same thing again. So at the end of year two, you will have 600 minus 400, which will be 200. And here you will have tax base, of course, of it's still zero because it's still 600 minus 600. It's still zero. Nothing, nothing's changed. You do exactly the same thing. And you know that what your provision should be, should be 30% of 200, which is um, 60. So my my provision the previous year was 120 my new provision is 60 which is why i released 60 from my provision of this year of the of at the end of year one to make it into the tax expense remember i said debit deferred tax liability 60 credit tax expense 60 to bring it back down to normal and that's how we and that's how we look at it so let's just go back so let me now i can do the, the exact the actual question here and just using that method right um so in terms of defer tax um i mean i could prepare the tax computations i'm not going to do that now i mean you can look at that but i can just account for the deferred tax by simply because i want to take us straight to the exam by simply comparing um so it says here that so this is 600 so i know that at the end of every year um in at the end of the first year my my um my um, carrying amount is 600 minus 200. So the, my carrying amount at the end of the first year is 400. My carrying amount of the second year is 200. And my carrying amount at the end of the third year is zero, right? Because 600 minus 200 in the first year, 600 minus 400 in the second year, 600 minus 600 in the third year. That's my carrying amount. If I look at here, my carrying amount, my tax written down value, my tax base is 600 
minus 240 because this was the tax allowance given. That's the tax depreciation. So here, my tax base is 360. When I look at my tax base here, of course, it'll be, well, 600 minus 240 minus 210. So 360 minus 210. Um, that is 051. And here, of course, it'll be zero. So my I literally compare literally compare my carrying amount and my tax base carrying amount minus tax base is 40 and i multiply this by 30 percent to calculate my deferred tax liability so 30 percent of 40 is 12 so my deferred tax liability in my first year is 12. so i will go debit tax expense 12 credit deferred tax liability 12. i'll do exactly the same thing here 30 percent of the difference between 200 and 150 is um, 50 and here so I have here 30% um, of um, sorry I made a mistake here this is yes that's 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 correct that is this that's 400 and that is my um, 360 that's correct here i have 200 and here i have 150 yeah i think it's just following it steadily i have 50 so 30 percent of um 50 three times five here and this is 15. that's interesting so what i now have to do here um i can't quite bring down my um tax uh, my liability just yet so i literally just increase my this is what my deferred tax liability has to be at the end of the year which is 15. so i now need to debit my tax expense again with another three and credit my deferred tax liability of 15. i'm um, sorry with um with with three right because i'm just increasing this is what my liability has to be it's currently 12. i need to increase it by three and then finally um i have here um a, well, I, I finally, at the end, it has to be zero. So I literally, in the final year, I literally release all of that tax liability straight to the income statement. So debit the deferred tax liability of 15 and credit taxation of 15. And that's how we do this um, year on year. Compare the carrying amount with the, um, the tax written down value and calculate your tax computation. Um, it's a bit of an interesting one, this sort of, they've changed the order, but typically um, you have it falling um, slightly differently, if you like, and so you have. But the key point is just treat it like that and you will always get your, your answer. Okay, great stuff. And that's sort of that, that's the end of that, um, that video. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the textbook and sort of now go through the theory and some of the points but I, I wanted to do it this way first so I bring out so when you're doing any exam question just always find that difference between the carrying amount and the tax written down value find your 30% and you're done right and you're done okay great stuff that's the end of this video